Welcome back. In this video, we'll explore how our tools interact with each other to enhance your workflow. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about tools that require specific conditions. Take our mesh boolean tool, for instance. To perform a boolean operation, you need to choose two meshes. Here, I've selected two meshes. Pressing Ctrl and clicking on each mesh in the object list lets you pick them. Now, press the mesh boolean tool, and it becomes active, allowing you to perform operations like union or difference. It's a great example of how specific tools are context sensitive, ensuring you have the right conditions for their use. Now, let's explore how some tools interact with each other. Specific tools can work simultaneously, while others require exclusive use. For instance, the mesh boolean tool can seamlessly interact with the object move tool and others. Watch as I activate both tools simultaneously. However, not all tools can be active at the same time. While trying to use a brush tool, you'll notice that the activation is not available. Some features are exclusive and can't be used at the same time. Closing an active tool is simple and can be done in several ways. You can click the close button in the active tools bar here. Alternatively, you can press the escape button on your keyboard to quickly exit the active tool. And if you prefer, closing the tool dialog box will also deactivate the tool. Whichever method you choose, it ensures a smooth transition between tools. And there you have it, a glimpse into how our tools interact. Understanding these dynamics will empower you to navigate seamlessly through your creative journey. If you have any questions, please consult our help section or our support team at support at meshinspector.com. Happy creating!